This video is sponsored by Skillshare. In this episode, we do some last minute essential provisioning, some last minute boat upgrades, and then we welcome back an amazing crew. I'm Bobby and I've spent the last five years traveling around the world by boat and sharing my experiences with you. In the previous video, I did some heavy lifting on the boat and had a shocking experience before having some fun in San Juan, Puerto Rico. All right, I think I'm stocked up on beer for the next few months here. Uh, that's why I like Puerto Rico as a jumping off point to the Caribbean. It's just, I mean, don't get me wrong, that wasn't cheap for all that beer, but it's a lot cheaper in Puerto Rico than it is in the island. So buy it all here as much as I can here. I'm hoping not to buy any more beer and, you know, for two or three more months. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Depends on how many people are on the boat and all that. But uh, now I gotta find a place to store it all. That's the hard part, it's finding a place to store it. Yep, that is quite a bit of beer, but like I said, it is much easier to get in a place like Puerto Rico than down in the island somewhere. Finding places for storage can be quite challenging. Oh, first aid and beer. Even though the Hatteras motor yacht has a lot more interior space, I don't think it has quite as much storage as an equivalently sized sailboat. Real quick guys, I wanna to talk to you about the sponsor of this episode, it's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes taught by professionals in their field about all types of subjects that could interest you. One of the classes they currently have is by MKHD, Marquez Brownlee. I really admire this guy, I've watched him for years on YouTube, and he goes step by step on how the creation process and how to be a success on YouTube. I've made 1300 plus videos at this point. For me, the answer is I make videos about a topic I care a lot about. So if it's something you've thought about to create YouTube videos for yourself or maybe to do it as a profession or something like that, that is, I cannot recommend that course enough to really get the knowledge and the skills you need to be a successful YouTuber. So the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description down below will get a free premium membership to Skillshare. After that, it's only about $10 a month. So whether it's YouTube or creative writing or marketing or business or anything like that, there's thousands of courses taught by real professionals. So check out the link in the description and get started today. One thing I learned the hard way is uh, you want a nice water filter for your boat. Um, so the guys at Aquastar Distributors sent me, I've, sent, I've used several of them in the past and they really work. So this is my ice maker out here and uh, you got to think about, okay, if I want ice and I'm in a place I want to make sure my ice is good too is what about drinking water. So they sent me this inline filter to put in here. Uh, it's a nature pure. It's like good enough to stop like viruses and bacteria. So it's a lot better than like your basic refrigerator uh, filter, but it's pretty easy. So I just got some adapters and I'm going to hook it right into the water line and uh, hook it up. So it's pretty simple. Just went to Home Depot and I got uh, a couple little adapters, another hose to hook it all up, and then it mounted the canister mounted right to the wall. And uh, before I slide this whole thing back in, I'm going to uh, turn the rest of the water on, make sure I'm, I don't have any leaks. But I'm also going to replace the water filter in the galley too, so we can get fresh drinking water from there. Unfortunately, I can't get my well. Actually, uh, can't quite get my drill in there. So I just drilled a little pilot hole so I know where to drill, and I have to go in from the bottom, but. Hopefully it doesn't jack up the Formica when I'm coming up, you know, because uh, it might crack it, but I got no choice. Yeah, yeah, I was afraid of it cracked the Formica a little. Maybe I can glue it back in place. This is the uh, Seagull 4 system. Uh, let me see how many microns that's down to. 0.4 microns, so that's really, really small. So, uh, got the cartridge for it, it's a replaceable cartridge, and then this guy I'll put right in there, and uh, we'll have fresh, clear, clean drinking water, bacteria and virus free. So, like, we got sick, we got sick in um, Dominican Republic last year because we all drank the bad water. I mean, it was on the boat, so I mean, like, we filled up our water tanks because we didn't have a working water maker. Even though I do have a working water maker on this boat, uh, you know, sometimes it's just a lot more convenient to fill up at a marina. So, um, you know, a lot faster and easier, especially, you know, if you're going to be in a marina for a while, you don't want to run your water maker when you're in the marina. So if you're going to be somewhere like a couple weeks and you need water, you need dock water. So, uh, this works pretty well. Okay. I've got it all installed now. I got, uh, you know, the little spigot here, uh, for filling up water, you know, glasses of water, stuff like that. Then we got the ice maker out there. The little uh, unit itself is right. One minor pain in the ass with this uh, water pump, because it's actually a well water pump, is that it's not self-priming. So 
Uh, basically, if I get the if I, if I let the water get too low, like I've had it drain for quite a while now, that means I have to uh, prime it. So I got to take the little cap off and prime it. Tools. One benefit of a motor yacht is using household products such as this water pump. It's easy to find at any Home Depot or hardware store and cheaper than a marine version. All right, now I'm gonna turn the water back on and let's see if we got any leaks. All right, no leaks under the sink here. So let's turn on some water. Working there and let's see. Whoa, <laughs> a little bit of air in the system, I think. There we go, now we got nice, clean and you know, gives me a lot more confidence on filling up water somewhere or something like that. So, I mean, 0 0.04 microns, that's pretty small. I just gotta bleed the air out of the system the rest of the way. And put this kitchen back together, it's a mess. Sorry, galley, did I pronounce it wrong? But let me check out here first too. All right, no water leaks. I can put everything back together and clean it up and uh, should be go water wise. Thank you to Aquastar Distributors for sending all this stuff. Really cool. If you're gonna, gives you a lot of confidence when you're out cruising. Highly recommend you get a high quality water filtration. This boat had one of those like, uh, it still has it actually. I've got it in line actually. Like uh, one of these appliance uh, water filters. So, I mean, it was already in line, but this doesn't like get like viruses and stuff like that. It's made to get like solids like, you know, lead and stuff like that out of your water. Um, but, uh, so it's not gonna stop viruses and all that, but so everything goes through that first and then through the other filter over here. So the life of that other filter will last a lot longer. And these are cheap to place. These are like 30 bucks. Those other filters, I mean, they're pretty high tech, high quality, and they're a little pricey, but definitely worth it when you're out cruising. Aquastar distributors. All right, so I just did a lot of provisioning uh, at the grocery store. And so I ran into people that offered to help me bring it in. So here they are helping. <laughs> Say hello. Hola. Happened to run into Whoa. him down here in Puerto Rico, so I invited him uh, to help me load groceries, and then they said they'd come sailing with me. So yeah, motorboat, motorboat, motorboat. Motor We've gone to the dark side. Yeah. That's right. Welcome, Sid. Hey. And Taylor, of course. So. Hey guys. All right. Well, we're gonna have a good time. Let's get these unloaded, and then we can uh, kind of get settled in. Sweet. What else is there? Kind of the nice thing about having like a full-size refrigerator freezer. It's Ooh, awesome. yeah. Ice cream, ice cream. Game changer. And then I've actually got enough, another fridge, freezer we could do outside if we need it. Okay. I'm gonna let them do that. I'm gonna get a beer. Cheers to you guys. I'm looking forward to get out of the water. I know they are too. All right, we all made it. Getting settled in. Getting the band back together. Cheers. Together. Cheers. Cheers. All right, and it is just about happy hour, so I say we kind of get settled, put this stuff away, and then... Head on over to the bar. Yeah, let's do it. One thing I've been needing to do for a while, now that I have help, I can actually do, is get this... Ow, oh, that's wet. <laughs> is get this anchor in the water. Uh, oh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got new chain coming, it'll be in St. Thomas. That is freaking massive. Holy oh, man. So all three of us are going to help? Put yeah. The, like, lower it? Yeah. Over? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I am really glad I waited until I had help for this. All right, there we go guys, nice job. Nice job. Well, yeah, yeah, you hold it straight and then I'll do it up. Is that good? That's good. All right, so we got our brand new Mantis uh, Mantis Marine 125. This thing, once we get the new chain on here, man, this boat's going nowhere. So mm -hmm. now I'm gonna lock it off so it doesn't freaking let go. Go anywhere. Yeah, I got a little thing right here. So then I just attach it there and then tie it off. Are you gonna tie off to that cleat? Yeah, actually that's a good idea right there. That's fine. All right, teamwork, high five guys. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the trip. Can I see a Beauty girl. Woo! Woo! Anchor woman. Woo! 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 Woo!
t-shirt contest. <laughs> Get away. We had a little ice ball fight. Uh, defrosting the freezer. You'll notice a theme in the coming videos. The girls are all about practicing their twerking. They are going in a twerking class, which is uh, it's just the worst thing ever. All right, now that they've uh, protected their twerk game, it's, uh, perfected. Did I say protected. <laughs> they protected it. They perfected it. We have protected it. We protected it. <laughs> so uh, now it's happy hour time. Last happy hour here on the main island of Puerto Rico, yes. and then uh, head to the islands, manana. <laughs> Right. Hi, Mia. I didn't bring a roadie. We can't all be professionals. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we get ready. All right, guys. We're starting off on a good note. First day. First day. Very good day. I've been waiting for these spicy margaritas for so long. Oh, they're good. Everyone say hello to All right, so uh, we had a great happy hour. We're going to get up early. Well, we're not going to get up too early tomorrow. We're going to get up early. He's got to return the rental car. Yeah. Return the rental car. And then we're hitting the fuel dock. Hitting right. the fuel dock. We're about to go to dinner now. We'll film that shit. I'm not for now. We're not going to film that. So we're going to have dinner. We're going to have a good time. And then uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Throw your ass up, not your back up. Ass. Like the booty cheeks. My ass up. Yeah, there you go. You got it. You gotta give him like a bikini though. <sighs> These are sucking a bit. Yeah.